Hello there, Fred DeFalco with the 920society.org, uh, a mastermind community on Facebook. This month, defeating all mediocrity in March and making March the most miraculous and marvelous March of your life. But the thing in order to accomplish that that's needed is to really face the truth. Am I living a life of reality or illusions? That's the first thing. And I'm going to help you find out with this 15-second truth test challenge. The truth test is to find out whether you're living a life of self-condemnation or self-commendation. Are you condemning yourself? Or are you commending yourself? There's a big difference. Your first thoughts that come to your mind and these questions I'm going to ask you is going to help me help you and guide you along. Your first thoughts that come to your mind in 15 seconds with these questions. Pause it here. Go get something to write with and take this challenge with me. And don't don't look beyond the questions until you answer them. OK, um, the world is whatever comes to your mind first. OK, don't analyze. Don't evaluate. The world is as soon as. You know, this world is. Just write down your answer. This world is. And write down your immediate answer. Then the next one, right now, my world is. What's the first thing you come comes to your mind? My world is. Okay? Then the next question, if God slash life or universe or source, whatever you're more comfortable calling it, if God is supposed to be all love, good, and fair, why am I and or my life blank? Why am I blank? And whatever the first thing comes to your mind, then the next question, or why am I feeling? I shouldn't have or here. Why am I feeling? Because if God, life is supposed to be all love, good, fair, why am I feeling? Uh, I want you to answer those questions. No, based upon those questions, we're going to figure out whether, because remember, March in the community is all about defeating all mediocrity in the areas of which all four of these areas is all we concentrate on, sinking all the eyes in life, the I am's, the divine intelligence, soul intelligence, artificial intelligence, um, emotional intelligence, and, and positive intelligence, and getting them all to come together and getting them to sink to prevent self-sabotage in our lives, in our relationships, in our finances. Because again, we focus on health, happiness, wisdom, and wealth. They're the four birthrights that we have. And then why is it that a lot of times we don't have the ultimate in those areas of our life? Because of self-sabotage. It's sneaky and it's subtle. Self-sabotage behavior is said to be self-sabotaging when it creates problems in daily life and interferes with long-standing goals. Now, 90% of people don't have goals in writing. I want you to change that. I don't care if it's just one word goals in the, uh, those four areas, happiness, I'm mean, health, happiness, wisdom, and wealth. Then I want you to say, is something interfering with my goals? Now, I don't know anybody that says, oh, my goal in life was to be broke, or my goal in life is to not have enough finance. My goal in life is to be miserable, not happy. My goal in life is to be really, really unhealthy. My goal is, is to be, you know, 100 pounds overweight. My goal is to have a heart attack at 60. My goal is to have three different marriages and, and still not happy. My goal, oh, could, that would be insane, right? It would be insane. That's not really what we want inside. Our real goals are ultimate health, ultimate, ultimate happiness, and, and wisdom. We want to be wise, and we want to be wealthy in all areas, finances and everything else. And, 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 and you don't have to have an abundance of finances to be wealthy. It, it, it depends on what you do with what you have, not getting what you want. It's wanting what you have. That's wealth. See, that's real wealth is wanting what you have because the people that are broke are depressed. And there's a lot of people who are multimillionaires I work with that are very depressed. So it's not the money. It's not, that's not wealth. Okay. So, but if something's standing in your way, you have self-sabotaged yourself and you've been living more a life of condemning yourself than commending yourself. And where does that come from? That comes from love and fear. It comes from living a life of fear, not knowing who we really are, not sinking divine intelligence with soul intelligence, with you know positive intelligence and emotional intelligence and getting them all to work together. This song called Fear is a Liar. If you haven't listened to it, listen to it. It's a beautiful song. It stirs me up every time I hear it. Now, 
the March project, when you listen to the, the full seminar and, and presentation on the March project in the community, you could see one of the things we said, this is a leap year. So let's go ahead and leap, whether you're a leader or a lagger, the L. And then the E is for in leap is evaluate to elevate. So I evaluate everything. Socrates said, an unexamined life is not worth living. I say an unexamined business is not worth having or being in. An unexamined relationship is not very thrilling and exciting. It causes divorce. Uh, it, it, the, so you need to examine everything. Um, otherwise, you'll live in fear. So the song, when you listen to it, when I evaluate it, I went, wait a minute, what's it mean cast your fear in the fire? Well, that there needs some balance because there is no fire outside of us to cast our fear into, right? The fire is within. We got here with fire. Our programming was like a fire extinguisher and and, and depleted that fire, that heart that's within us, right? Um so the fire's within. So ignore that. Cast your fear in the fire. There is no external fire. It's only the fire that's within. And how do you tap that by balancing divine intelligence, soul intelligence, artificial intelligence, positive intelligence, emotional intelligence, and bringing them all together? And then there's another uh, lyric in here. Oh, let your fire fall and cast out all my fears. Folks, God is not sending any fire down to cast out your fears. Because God can't think of fears because it's not a part of his makeup, right? So what do you do with these fears? Well, the soul intelligence, that fire that's within, tied in correctly uh, with divine intelligence will get you to extinguish all your fears. So let your fire fall. Your love is all I feel. That's all you will feel is love once you realize the power of your own soul intelligence that you were sent here with, which is love, right? That's the fire. So the what I want you to do to defeat mediocrity, to defeat any type of illusions in your life, when you go back and look at your answers to those questions, if you said, I am rich, you know, if God is so good, why am I rich? <laughs> uh, then good. So is my creator rich, right? But if you say, hey, why am I broke? If God is so good and life is so good, why am I broke? I want you to answer that every time you use the, the, the word I am. If it's I am depressed, so is my creator. I am lonely, so is my creator. I am angry, so is my creator. Because this will challenge you to live with truth because you know most of us, even if you don't believe in you know, a, a creator, you know, God, as I, I believe, but if you just believe source or whatever it is, and in atheists, you still believe something, right? Which is atheism and you believe there's nothing. So whatever it is, there's some kind of creation that took place, no matter what, how you want to define that, uh, answer every one of them with, so is my creator. And it will challenge you to say, hey, wait a minute, is that the truth? I want to share with you out of A Course in Miracles, a creator wholly unlike his creation is inconceivable. Does that make any sense? If if a creator is not like his creation, then it's inconceivable. So if you can challenge yourself, every I am you ever say, I am frustrated. I am, I am late. <laughs> so is my creator, right? It then puts the responsibility where it belongs. And you go, wait a minute, no, 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 he's not, she's not, it's not, whether however you want to believe your creator, then you know, this is really a, a, to jolt you. Now I want to share this one with you. The first premise is that God gives you only happiness. This could be false, of course, but in order to be false, it is necessary to define God as something he is not. Love cannot give evil. And what is not happiness is evil. Wow. What is not happiness is evil. God cannot give what he does not have. And he cannot have what he is not. Unless God gives you only happiness, he must be evil. And it is this definition of him or her or it, however you're comfortable saying it, and it is this definition of him you are believing if you do not accept the first premise. And the first premise is God gives you only happiness. It's us. It's our self-sabotage that is ruining that happiness in the areas of health, happiness, wisdom, and wealth. So I challenge you, take the March challenge. Let's make this March your most marvelous, miraculous. And I mean it miraculous. I don't say that lightly. I don't say that lightly. 
you are entitled to miracles because you are a miracle. The, the March Project, uh, I encourage you to look it up. Um, Og Mandino's book, The Greatest Salesman in the World. You don't have to be in sales because your greatest job to sell in life is to sell yourself on yourself um, in the God that created you, right? Uh, our creator. Uh, scroll, there's 10 scrolls in the book, The Greatest Salesman in the World by Og Mandino. Look them up. 10 scrolls, Og Mandino. We're on number four this month. I am nature's greatest miracle. In the full seminar of Defeating All Mediocrity in March, you'll, we'll go over that in detail. So anyway, I invite you to join the 920 Society Mastermind and, and come in and participate. It's new. It's It's been formed uh, over the last three or four years just as a, a mind-body mastermind, we called it. But in the last four, five, six months, we changed it to the 920 Society because of uh, where we really want to take this in the area of all the eyes, the divine intelligence, soul intelligence, artificial intelligence, positive intelligence, emotional intelligence, all coming together to prevent us from self-sabotaging. Thank you for tuning in. I hope, not I hope, this March will be your, your most marvelous and miraculous March of your entire life. It You just need to claim it. You need to uh, embrace it. And you need to make sure that you live with within reality and that you become a commender versus a condemner of yourself. So I'll put this in uh, the slides in with this video uh, and feel free to use them, brand them. I don't care what you do with them because I just want to, I want everyone to live by truth. The reason the 920society.org was formed is because not everyone can afford coaching or consulting. And so I wanted to do something where I can bring people in. You can send me videos. You can, and, and we're just now developing that. So I invite you in, come and participate. Let's uh, join the conversation. Love to have you there. Thanks so much for tuning in. I appreciate you. Bye-bye.